Hey, good morning. Uh, I chose these verses out of Numbers 22, verses 28 through 29. Now, I know I've used these before, I used them in the devotional book, but you know, this story always just kind of stands out to me. Numbers 22, verses 28 through 29, it says, Then the Lord gave the donkey the ability to speak. What have I done to you that deserves your beating me three times? It asked Balaam. You've made me look like a fool, Balaam shouted. If I had a sword with me, I would kill you. I'm intrigued by this passage every time I read it. King Balak called for Balaam to curse the people of Israel, but God told him not to go. Balaam persisted in asking against God's expressed will, and God relented but sent his angel to block Balaam's way with sword drawn, showing more discernment than its master, the donkey kept avoiding the angel. Each time, Balaam beat the donkey in response, which leads to verses 28 through 29. <clears throat> the part that really struck me today was the comment at the beginning of verse 29 that Balaam made. You've made me look like a fool. Balaam shouted. Really? It's the donkey's fault? It made you look like a fool. Uh-uh. I don't think so. Balaam, you were doing an exceptional job of looking like a fool all on your own. Now, this made me pause and think. How often do I blame my bad behavior on the actions of another? Sadly, I can think of several phrases that I might have used to justify a poor reaction. He makes me so mad. She cut me off in traffic. Well, they started it all with that Facebook post. And the reality is this. No one can make me angry. I allow myself to respond in anger. I don't have to drive aggressively just because someone else does. I don't have to speak harshly in response to another person's words. Those are all my choices in how I respond. No, they don't need to be blamed for making me look like a fool. I can usually do a wonderful job of that all on my own. Pray with me. Lord, help me to see the moments when I am beginning to make myself look like a fool. Because that's usually the case. I can't blame it on anybody else. It's almost always me and how I react to a circumstance. So, before I react poorly, would you, by your Holy Spirit, speak to my heart so that I might make a better choice? In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, friends. Hope you have a great day. God bless you. See you tomorrow.